Hi, Tom DeCan here. Welcome back. I'm going to show you three steps to upload files properly with Django. Most Django tutorials that I've seen give bad advice about how to upload files. They all emphasize uploading things on the server side. This is not good because your server only has a certain number of workers. If these get blocked, then your server will freeze. <laughs> Let's avoid that and I'll show you how by uploading things client side. Let's get into it. I've done this setup stage. So you can see I've got my core app here, my sim app here, and I've added this to installed app. You need to go to I am here, then go create a user here, create one, then you want to attach policies directly and make sure you select S3 full access here and then create an access key here. It doesn't matter which one you want to hit. You can create this. Yeah, we're creating this using the web, but you can use this in CLI or whatever. Doesn't, no need for this. And then there you go, that's your access key. And so we're gonna to need to keep this and go into our core here and create a .env file, copy this in. So add the access key there, add the secret access page here. But we'll go to S3, which we can access either by pasting that or just clicking S3 in the services. And now here we're gonna click create a bucket and we give it a, a unique name, files123. Choose your particular region, it'll make it slightly faster for you. Don't need to worry about anything else here. And then click create bucket. Now we're going to update our bucket to allow cross-origin resource sharing to disable essentially because we're going to communicate from our front end to our bucket. Go into the bucket and then we need to go down to permissions and go to cores and then edit this setting just by pasting it in like that. Save changes. Section two, we're going to create a temporary upload URL. So we go to S3, we create that URL, we send it back to our page and then the user can upload just to that URL for a certain amount of time. Pip Botto, I've already installed it but we'll just run through that. You get it's already in my file. And now we're going to create a file called services.py where we will generate that file. Uh, services.py. And then copy this in. And you see here, this is where we're going to add our AWS access key, which we've already added in settings. Now we go to create our view. It's already there, views. And copy this in. This you can see is the is what we're, how we're going to upload and handle things. We'll update our URLs. So go to core and then copy and replace this. Go to sims and sim and create our app and then create the urls.py. Then copy this in. Section three, we're going to allow the user to upload their file through the front end on the client side to that temporary URL that we've added in and that we've generated when they loaded the page. Pip install. Dot end. I've already do it, done that. We're going to update our settings files. We can actually get rid of this here and then copy this in. Um, add, it at the t add it here, let's say. And we also need to import it like that. When our Django server runs, we will also load this, the settings.py. Go and look at our .env file, load that into the environment so that our, the rest of our app can use all those environment variables, in our case, our AWS keys. So we want to create a front end. And so we'll go and create the template file, templates here, templates. And then we'll also create an HTML file there called uploader.html and then copy this in all this HTML and JavaScript in. So we're copying all this HTML and JavaScript in, and this include, also includes our HTMX and a bit of styling. Finally, we run our server, Python manage.py run server. Okay, so we can try uploading something. So let's go here and choose a file, prompts to improve text readability and writing. That sounds interesting. Ah, that is because I haven't entered my bucket name correctly. So if we go to our views, and you need to make sure you put your bucket name in there. That's good. That's an easy gotcha. So bucket name, which is here, Django upload files one, two, three. Paste that in here, because we need to tell AWS which bucket it's accessing. You can see that we've created that post URL, and we've now inserted it into the HTML, ready for HTML extender, and then when we click the upload button, boom, that's uploaded. Let's check S3. Seems like there's nothing there, but then refresh it. And there you go, it's uploaded. If we go back, let's try uploading something a bit bigger. There you go, seven, eight, nine, uploaded. Refresh it, there it is. 
What about other long running tasks? Anything that just takes a little bit longer, maybe some image processing, maybe generating an Excel spreadsheet, maybe going to an external API, which takes a while, performing an operation and coming back. Yes, that will also block your server. And there's another article there. I hope you enjoyed that. And here are some other Django tutorials. I'm making loads of them.